Welcome to Bloomdahl Medical. You are about to see an instruction film. Around the world, we protect consumers and professionals against health risks associated with piercing and jewellery. We do this with products and methods that have been developed and tested from medical aspects and knowledge. Bloomdahl is designed and manufactured in Sweden which means that we have full control over every production step and all materials used. All our production takes place in modern hygienic production premises according to the same routines that apply for implants and other sterile hospital articles. We are certified according to an international medical device quality control system and are regularly controlled by a notified body. In the USA, we are registered with the FDA. All this so that we can guarantee that Bloomdahl is a safe way to look good every day. Make sure the person you're about to pierce has reached the legal minimum age limit. If not, a parent's consent is required. With children, the parent should be present. Ask where on the ear the client wishes to be pierced. Pierce only on the earlobe and in the upper cartilage, just inside the rollover edge. Adjust the height so that you have a good working position. To get good stability when piercing both ears by yourself, we recommend that you place the client at a height so that you can have your upper arms positioned close to your body and your forearms virtually horizontal. Show the selection display to the client so they can choose a style of ear piercing earring. These are made from carefully selected plastic or titanium of pure medical quality and are developed in consultation with skin specialists. This makes them suitable for everybody, even if one already has an allergy. Remove any rings and bracelets. If your hands are visibly soiled, wash them thoroughly with liquid soap and clean running water. Dry your hands with a disposable paper towel. With the help of the hair clips, make sure that all hair is removed from the place where the ears are going to be pierced, both front and back of the ears. Prepare both sides at the same time. Check that the skin looks healthy. Do not pierce if there are any cuts, wounds or visible skin disorders. To prepare the skin for marking, clean the ears from makeup and grease using a soft disposable tissue. Feel so that there is no lump or hardened tissue in the ear. If so, slightly change the location of the piercing. Check the thickness of the ear. If it is thick, use long length ear piercing earrings to allow for an airy healing. In consultation with the client, mark on both ears the location of the piercings with a Bloomdahl surgical marker pen. Let the client approve the markings. If they are not pleased with the position of the markings, agree with them where they want to be pierced in relation to the markings. This will save time. The client has made her choice. Take out the style the client has chosen Check that you have taken the correct style. Fill in the aftercare instructions with today's date. We also recommend that you fill in a time and date for a revisit. Tear off the aftercare instructions and give it to the client to read through. Fill out the client journal. You will find the sterilization lot number and the article number on the cassette. Check the expiry date. Expired cassettes should be disposed of. Mark on the pictures where you're doing the piercing. Ask the client to fill in their data and to sign. The client journal is your record of all ear piercings carried out. Now the actual ear piercing procedure begins. Clean and disinfect your hands using a hand disinfectant with a minimum of 70% alcohol. Let them air dry. 
Due to the hygienic features incorporated in the Bloomdahl medical ear piercing system, you normally do not need to wear protective disposable gloves. If regulations in your country state the use of disposable gloves, now is a good time to put them on. Hold the instrument by the handle only. Cock the mechanism by pulling it. Place the instrument in your thumb grip with two fingers around the handle, two fingers loosely around the clamping pin and your thumb straight up behind the trigger. Tell the client to listen for the sound. Squeeze the clamping pin to its bottom position and press the trigger straight down. When the client hears it, the earrings are in place. Open two envelopes with the Bloomdahl pre-piercing swabs. Open the swabs easily by rubbing your fingers. Your fingers should be on the outside of the swabs. Press the pre-piercing swab for at least 20 seconds around each ear, front and back. Keep still, do not rub. Wipe down any single hairs with the pre-piercing swab. Use a new pre-piercing swab for each ear. Dispose of immediately after use. Cock the instruments, holding them by the handles only. Open the cassette packaging. Put on the cassettes straight down. Remove the safety covers and place them within reach. Hold the instruments correctly. Check that you can open and close the cassettes by squeezing the clamping pins. Ask the parent to stand tightly behind the child and gently and reassuringly place her hands over the child's upper arms. The child should sit and look straight forward with the head straight. For extra comfort and support, the child should have the back of her head against the parent's chest. Still, the child's head should be straight, which may require that the parent leans her upper body slightly forward. For extra stability, the parent can alternatively gently support the child's head by placing her hands on top of it. For younger children, we recommend that they sit in the parent's lap while otherwise using the same technique. When carrying out the piercing, stand very closely in front of the child. With your upper arms close to your body and your forearms virtually horizontal. Hold the instruments horizontal and at an angle of maximum 45 degrees to the nose. Place the butterfly against the back of the ear while keeping the instrument horizontal. Aim the point of the ear piercing earring at the marking while moving the instrument forwards and squeezing the clamping pin to the bottom position. The cassette is now fully closed around the earlobe. If you're not satisfied with the aiming, open the cassette fully and start again. Hold the instrument still, making sure that the hand does not drop down. Now do exactly the same on the other ear. Place the butterfly against the back of the ear. Aim the point of the ear piercing earring at the marking while moving the instrument forwards and squeezing the clamping pin to the bottom position. You now have a firm grip of both ears. Hold your hands still, not letting them drop. Check that both instruments are at the same angle and that both are held horizontally. Simultaneously, press both triggers straight down with your thumbs. Hold still for three seconds. Lift up your thumbs from the triggers. Open the cassettes by gently releasing the clamping pins and at the same time moving the instruments towards you. Remove the instruments with cassettes downwards from the client's ears. Check that the butterflies are in position. Tell the client not to touch. Replace the safety covers over the used cassettes. Cock the instruments and remove the entire cassettes. Dispose of the cassettes into a waste bin lined with a plastic bag. If you have used disposable gloves, remove them and dispose of them as well. After ear piercing, clean your hands, thereby marking the end of the ear piercing procedure. 
let the happy client see the result. Remind the client that it is now their responsibility to take care of their pierced ears. Cleanse twice a day. Use liquid soap and clean running water when having a shower. For all other cleansing, recommend Bloomdahl Piercing Aftercare Cleansing Swabs. These allow for the important mechanical cleansing. In between the earrings and the ear, front and back, and around the ear piercing. After 6 to 12 weeks, you can remove the piercing earrings and put in other earrings. However, it takes up to a whole year before the ear piercings have totally healed. During this time, it is important to keep the ear piercings clean, dry and airy. Also, the risk for contact allergies is greater. The aftercare instructions inform your client about this fact and recommend Bloomdahl Skin Friendly Earrings to be used during at least the first year after piercing. Bloomdahl Skin Friendly Earrings are truly kind to the skin. Developed in consultation with skin specialists and made of pure medical grade of titanium and plastic, with cubic zirconias and Swarovski crystals. Bloomdahl is a safe way to look good every day. Bloomdahl skin friendly earrings with jewellery booklet in a gift pouch. Two packets of piercing aftercare cleansing swabs and aftercare instructions. A happy, satisfied client with everything she needs for a successful healing. Here follows some useful advice. The front part of the instrument is fully protected by the sterile disposable cassette and therefore it does not need to be sterilised or disinfected between customers. You should, however, always keep the instrument clean. Regularly wipe it with a disinfectant containing at least 70% alcohol, for example Bloomdahl pre-piercing swabs. It is very easy to pierce ears with Bloomdahl. Still, to be professional, you must do it in the right order and with attention to details. We strongly recommend a Bloomdahl training course in which you go through all the medical, practical and also commercial aspects of the ear piercing making you a certified Bloomdahl ear piercer. When practicing on your own, practice with empty cassettes, dummy ears and on colleagues or friends. To practice pressing the triggers at the same time when doing simultaneous ear piercing, take the instruments without cassettes on. Cock the instruments. Place them in your thumb grip. Squeeze the clamping pins to the bottom position and press the triggers straight down at the same time. Do this a few times. Remember, practice makes perfect. Thank you for watching. We hope that you now feel confident and excited about offering your clients ear piercing with the Bloomdahl Medical No Touch Ear Piercing System. To learn more about Bloomdahl, we welcome you to our website on Bloomdahl. Com. You have just watched an international instruction film from Bloomdahl Medical. National and local rules and regulations can differ slightly from this film. It is your responsibility to find out what applies for you. For more advice, please contact your Bloomdahl sales representative.